Tiny arrived at the APL one Saturday in the arms of a good Samaritan. When she found the four-month-old kitten, he was having violent seizures. She didn't know what was wrong with Tiny, but she knew he needed immediate help and brought him to the APL. Tiny was rushed back to our veterinary department. They found his body was coated with topical flea medication and he was also wearing a flea collar. While the person who did this to him was probably well-intentioned, the overdose of chemicals had created a level of toxicity that caused Tiny to have seizures. He was in very critical condition. Tiny was quickly given a bath and started on muscle relaxers and sedatives. Thankfully, Dr. Lash, our head of veterinary medicine, had treated this kind of toxic overdose of flea medicine before. She was able to recognize the signs and act quickly. In fact, she had adopted another cat who came into the APL with similar symptoms. Dr. Lash took Tiny home with her that night and provided him with the around-the-clock care necessary for him to recover. After 72 hours of intense treatment, Tiny began to act like a normal, playful kitten. Not surprisingly, Tiny, now named Alexander Hamilton, was adopted by Dr. Lash and her family. Today, Alexander Hamilton spends his days doing arts and crafts with his human sister and stealing his older feline siblings' food. In other words, Thanks to the Second Chance program, he's a normal, healthy kitten. Finch was just one month old when he arrived at the Cleveland APL. He was brought to us by our Humane Investigations team with two adult dogs and another puppy. It was winter time, and little Finch was shivering because he was cold, scared, and very stressed. He had been living in a neglectful situation with no access to food or water. He was extremely dehydrated. Flies had bitten him all over his small body. During his exam, our veterinary team noted that he had a bloated stomach, was very dirty, was suffering from anemia and a skin infection, and weighed only 10 pounds when he should have been about 15 pounds. Our team quickly went about making him well. Finch was treated for worms and started on a feeding plan to help him gain weight. In just 17 days, little Finch had gained six pounds and was looking like a new puppy. Finch is a great example of the care the APL provides to our animals every day. He did not need surgery, nor did he suffer from an illness that needed special treatment. He just was neglected and needed the care every animal deserves. Finch went to the home of a loving foster care volunteer, where he stayed for three months to gain weight and recover from his skin infection. When he was ready for adoption, it took just two days before he met his new mom, Teresa. Teresa says Finch is the best thing that ever happened to her. You see, she suffers from anxiety and depression. But since adopting Finch, she has gone off her medication. Finch goes to work with Teresa, and he has lots of doggy friends. His adoring mom says Finch saved her life. Lala's APL story began when the kind people who had been feeding this one-year-old stray kitty noticed she was breathing heavily. Lala obviously was in distress, so the Good Samaritans brought her to the APL, hoping we could help her. X-rays revealed she had two hernias, 
one in her diaphragm that had allowed her organs to shift into her chest, resulting in chronic respiratory problems. A normal cat would have all its organs below this muscle. The other hernia caused her intestines to drop into the fold of her leg. The bottom line was, Lala needed specialty surgery to correct these serious malformations in her small body. Because of donations to the Second Chance program, Lala underwent two complicated surgeries at MedVet Cleveland West. After surgery, Lala spent another month in the APL's care, most of it in the home of a wonderful APL foster care volunteer, where she not only healed physically, but also emotionally. Finally, Lala was experiencing how wonderful life could be as an indoor cat. Meanwhile, the family who had found Lala could not stop thinking about her, especially the little girl who had fallen in love with Lala and kept asking her mom how her kitty friend was doing. When Lala was finally ready to leave the APL, that same wonderful family returned to the shelter and adopted her, giving Lala the loving home she so deserved. Her new family reports Lala is doing great. She eats well and has gained some weight. She loves being an indoor cat. Lala still gets to see what's going on outside, but now it's by looking out the window from the safety of her wonderful new home. <laughs>